Shalom, shalom, shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just taking a little stroll. Thinking about some things. And um just looking at the headlines like we all are. And my first question is to everyone, are you concerned yet? Are you concerned yet? What do we do with the things that the Most High is revealing? Are you prepared for any of the things that the Most High is revealing to you? Are we taking them serious? Are we putting ourselves in places where we can um, think more and have clarity of mind? Are you concerned yet? What are the things you're doing for your family? Have you began to truly put things aside? Not this panic buying that most people do. Because when you panic buy, you also got to think about this. If you panic buy, then you're only following the herd. You're only following the masses that are out there. You're only doing what they do. So... If society says go and buy all the toilet tissue that you can get your hands on, that's the first thing you do. If society tells you, oh my goodness, you need hand sanitizer, go, 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 go. That's the first thing you do. So you're truly putting things aside that, that are led to you by the Most High. Are you even thinking with the Most High in concern? Like, is he a part of your choice? Is, is he not the one that makes the decisions for us or should be? Is he leading you or are you deceiving and leading yourself? Can you protect yourself in any situation? Do you have the means to? It doesn't have to be elaborate, but do you have some type of protection? Do you even have the mindset of protection? Are you concerned yet? Are you concerned enough? What's moving you? Are you concerned enough to do something about your current situation? Or are you just going to sit back and hope these stimulus checks and whatever other means are out there? Are you just letting those get you by day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year? Or are you doing more than? Because if you're using those things, okay, that's great. Don't be condemned because you're using them. Just what are you using them for? Are you getting the things that your household need? Are you being prepared? Mind, body, and soul. What, what are you doing? These are questions we have to ask ourselves all the time. And I ask myself the same questions. And these questions are only for a select few, only for those who are really concerned only for those who are really um, thinking about what is important to the Most High. Because, again, if not, you're going to be a part of the herd mentality. That herd mentality is what is killing a lot of people, honestly. You know, they're following the herd over the cliff. So are you capable and able to stand apart from the herd? Are you capable and able to stand apart from the daily stressors that are just always there because they, they need to be there to keep you a part of a system that is condemning. This system takes you nowhere. You all know where it goes. It's already been played out for you. So are you prepared? And what are you prepared for? Are you concerned? And what are you concerned about? What are the things most important to you? These are just questions. And we all have to ask ourselves these questions and more, way more than just these questions. But are you prepared? Are you? And do you have means of preparation? Have you been thinking about it? 
with just the things that are going on in D.C. alone, people should be prepared. Can you protect your family? What do you have to protect your family? And is it sufficient? Is it sufficient? Is it sufficient? Are you ready for anything that may come? Any situation? Do you have food? Do you have shelter, clothing, place to be? Can you take your family out of harm's way? Are you stuck in these um, these metro areas and, and, and no possible way out? Have you locked yourself in? These are good questions. Are you prepared? You should be. You should be. And if you're not, you should get prepared. This is your brother Ben and Yah. Shalom.